Hello, welcome to my garage. As you could have seen in the previous video, I took out the original motor from the Volvo. Today I'm going to start to mount the motor, the new motor, the Nissan Leaf stack, into the Volvo. To do that, I use the original old frame. Uh, I modify it so the leaf stack will fit in it, and then I'll put it in. I need a few new drive shafts. I will measure how large they have to be. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe. I've got the angle grinder. Let's start cutting. At first I removed as little as possible so just the leaf stack would fit in. Every part I cut off, I smoothed it by grinding it all down to the back to the frame. Now I put in the motor. I have a small motor jack on the floor so I can move it around a little and I can adjust it to the height I need it. Here I adjust the motor to the right height. Here you can see there's enough play between the hood of the car and the motor. So the height is working like this. Now I put in some rods to see if the drive shafts are quite in line with the motor. After a little bit of moving around with the motor it was quite straight. The motor has to go to the back a little. I have the welder outside. Time to weld in the first plate. I had drilled holes in this piece of steel. I used a 3D printed template to do that. With one plate in place I have fixed the position of the motor and when loosening the bolts I can take out the frame and weld the plate in place. I had also a plate made at the back, at the back of the motor, also with the 3D printed template. I've welded with a few supporting plates and here I want to hurry up to make some welds. Always use the ground clamp. Two plates are in, so the position of the motor is fixed now. And the plate at the back has a third motor mount, which has to be exactly in position. I clamp it in position so I can tack weld it. With this mount in place I can finish the welding on the bench. I have welded on the third motor mount. I have a new bushing for that. Now it's time to make another plate for the third connection to the motor. I have a cardboard template. 
it's the size does not really matter yet. This one needs a few holes so I can bolt it to the motor. This plate was a little bit too narrow, so I got another plate to make the plate bigger. I clamped it in place so it would be kinda straight when it's done welding. Every time you weld something it has the tendency to warp. I have mounted the plate. I have done some tape on the shaft of the bolt so the plate from the hole to the bolt is, is, is not there. And now I can mark this one up on the rear, like this. Here we have the marking I just made. I have made a 3D printed disc with the same diameter as the outside, with a small hole in the center. Now I line it up against the marking and then and now I have the dot on the right place, hopefully. This piece of steel goes to the is going to be welded to the frame to get the plate I just made bolted on. It's a 4, milli 4 cm hole in a 4 cm piece of steel. After I've drilled this hole, I also drilled the 12 mm holes and I put in some tube which I welded in for strengthening the holes for bolting it to the plate. This plate, this part is also welded on. The only thing I have to do is drill holes through this plate so I can bolt it on. Now I cut the plate to size. Making the edges a little bit smooth. And finishing off the two last holes. It lines up pretty well. The motor is now fully secured into the frame. So now the motor goes in. 
This is just to test fit it and to get a measurement of the drive shafts. I'm pretty happy with how the motor fits in the engine compartment. At the bottom it's not sticking out. The subframe is the lowest part. Maybe I can even fit the original engine cover at the bottom. This is the wheel side CV joint to the little part of, of the axle. I put it in the wheel. I bolt it down so I know it's exactly in the same place as, it's, as it is when uh, I'm driving. This is the joint on the gearbox side that also goes in. It has a sliding element in it that goes in. I put it all the way in. It's time to measure the drive shaft. I measured it on the right height and with the wheel all the way lower down. I've measured it twice. I've 3D printed some couplings so I can put in a little tube so I could also check it again. And the drive shafts are ordered now. I've changed out this uh, damper because the old one had a 10 mil. This has a 12 mil hole. This is a 12 mil hole so in the old one there was a lot of play. I just have to adjust it. This one needs to go in a bit more and then the frame is about ready to coat paint. Now I push the pushing in as far as needed. I had the threads in the aluminium motor mount repaired because they were damaged due to the small bolt that was in it. And the new one fits perfectly. It fits. Several days later. So the frame is all finished. I have sandblasted it. Uh, I've painted the steel. I've made a new aluminium plate also painted and I had this one CNC milled. This plate locks the drive shaft in place. Now let's put the frame onto the motor and then we can put it in the car. I have some other bolts now that fit better. The original bolts are too long. These bolts fit very nice. These were a little bit harder to get in, probably due to the, the distortion of the welding. and the paint inside the holes. I use a torque wrench to get all the balls nice tight. Uh, 
And now for the last time, hopefully the motor goes in. The bolt on the bottom goes back in. I use an extra nut to prevent it from getting loose. The vacuum pump for the brakes goes back in. The mounting plate for the battery goes back in. This one is held in place with the same nuts that uh, bolt down the, the motor mount. With this plate I have some space to mount the aftermarket fuse box. That was already in the car. And the motor is in. That's it for this video. It took a lot of time to get this far with the motor, but it's now in place. The new drive shafts are ordered. Hopefully I get them within a few weeks. If you like this kind of videos and you want to follow me getting the Volvo back on the road, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.